In brightest day, in blackest night, no evil shall escape my sight. Let those who worship evil's might beware my power, Green Lantern's light. That's right folks, welcome back to this DC Universe Online Let's Play. And as you can tell, you're not with Definity. Well, we're staring at her, but you can see the time has come. That's right, the Fight for the Light DLC content has been released. And of course, you can tell if you've got it or not because you can see here on the character select screen your background will have changed if your background looks like this that means you've got it of course if you haven't got a background that looks like this and you're supposed to have the new DLC entitled fight for the light content then you need to contact customer support as soon as possible now what I thought I'd do is seeing as we've had lots of excitement about this DLC that's been released and of course we've got the new light powers that are available to us as a character we'll take a quick break from Definity. don't worry we're going to not take a very long break we'll just have a quick look in one episode at the new character creation and check out her uh, or yeah it'll be a her I'd say her powers of the light if we make a light character and uh, don't worry we'll then return back to Definity and take her all the way back to level 30 and then we'll probably run through on our new light character but I thought because it's just been released and everyone's been talking about it let's take a look so here we are let's get right into it so let's create a character I have no idea what we're gonna do but hey that's what it's all about right so you're going through this live with me I have no idea what to expect so this is exactly how it'll be if you were to go through it at home and by the way a welcome to this episode Episode. So of course, as you know, we've had the mega server happen, we've had the server mergers occur, and we've only got a choice of two servers now, and they of course are the PvE or the PvP servers, and you can see here I'm on the US ones, of course yours will look a little bit different if you're from the EU, but of course we're going to take PvE, so let's get right into it. Here we go, hopefully that will load in. Now, what will happen of course is the cinematic will play, and it's a brilliant cinematic. By the way, if you haven't watched it already, I suggest you do. There's probably links available to it, in fact there are, on YouTube. It's well worth it. One of the greatest intro cinematics I think I've ever seen in a game. It is so well produced. Pretty sure it's done by Blur Studios, who are world renowned for their cinematics coming only, uh, well I don't know, it's a toss up between these guys and Blizzard Entertainment as to who makes the best cinematics in my opinion. There she is, Wonder Woman. Oh, it's very hard to resist not watching isn't it? But we will skip it, we'll hold down escape and we'll skip this and go straight into the intro sequence. For I will not be here to see this new future. My work is And we'll not skip this as well because we've I all must... seen it before. And if you haven't seen it before, then hop along to one of my very earlier DCUO episodes where we go through the beginnings and it's all there in all of its glory. Alright, of course we're going to be me and we're going to choose a female. Uh, on we go, there we are, female. And you might notice too that this has uh, changed up a little bit if you haven't played for a while. You used to only sort of get small, medium or large. Now we've got a couple of choices. We've got Sprite, Mesa and Monarch. Now Mesa or Mesa, however you say it, that is a bit of a stocky build as you can see there. Very butch looking. At the other extreme we've got the Sprite build. So for example if we go Sprite Small or Sprite Medium you can see that their body type is set to be teeny tiny, they've got a very big head. Alright, there we go. Uh, and the normal one is Monarch. If you're looking for the old style characters, the medium, large and small, you go for the Monarch and that's exactly what we'll go for by the way. Alright, what are we going to do? Are we going to customize or are we going to be inspired by? Well, I just want to scoot through this. We're not going to pay too much attention to what we're actually doing here. just want to see what it looks like when we create a new character with the light powers, of course. So we'll go custom. And let's see, will we go hero or villain? I think we'll go hero, eh? Uh, we can always do a villain later on. I always choose the serious stance for the personality. And then, of course, we have to have ourselves a mentor. Now, who shall we get? Will we go Batman, Superman? or Wonder Woman. Of course Blaze Purple was Wonder Woman uh, back in the day. Uh, we've been doing Superman and Batman. Oh, I don't know. Um, oh, of course, can't ask you guys because you're not there for me when I need you. Alright, I think we'll go... Let's see. See what it says, shall we? Batman, use stealth, martial arts and technical prowess to enforce order. With Superman, we've got genetic gifts and amazing superpowers. That might be 
actually what we go for, I think. And Wonder Woman, direct the magical powers of the gods against tyranny. Maybe we'll go with Superman, since it's a bit of a classic. Will we, or will we go Batman? Stealth, martial arts, and technical stuff. No, I think we'll go with the genetic stuff. Superman, it is. And of course, look at this, folks. Here it is. Are you ready for this? This is the new one. Here's our old ones. We've got fire. We've got gadgets. We've got ice. We've got mental. We've got nature. And we've got sorcery. But as you can tell, we've now got a new set of powers. And what is it, folks? It is the light. There it is, and you can see her ring glowing. All right, that's, <laughs> that sounded a bit wrong, didn't it? Let's try that one again. You can see her power ring glowing. There it is, and we're going to choose that. In fact, hang on, let's go back and let's just read what it says, the description. It says control. So it's a control power. As a deputy of the core, use your power of will or fear to create hard light constructs and control or punish enemies. That's absolutely what we're going to take. Now, I know you guys say, oh, Samba, can you mix it up a bit? Can you go acrobatics or super speed? No, is the answer. Put my foot down there. I enjoy flight. Flight is by far the easiest superpower to get around. I don't uh, get to fly around as a character in any other game and of course I'm being a superhero I want to fly so I'm sorry folks that's it all right this is a chance for us to mix it up a little bit of course we've already been bow we've already been dual pistol as you know and of course what else have we been that's right we have also been where is it here it is hand blast of course blaze purple was our hand blast so we've got different choices this time will we go brawling it's a slow brutal style using fists to inflict maximum damage not sure if i'm into the slow stuff i do really like uh, the fast paced combat of dcu so i think we'll stick to fast stuff We've got dual wielding, a fast, dex dexterous style using paired melee weapons. That could be quite cool. We've got martial arts here, a fluid medium speed melee style focusing on feet and hand strikes. Okay, that's, that's a medium one. We've got one handed, which is a fast melee style using a combat weapon held in one hand. We've got rifle, a medium speed ranged style using a long barreled rifle. We have a staff, a fast, dexterous style utilizing a long melee weapon. And of course, we've got two handed, which is naturally a slow, powerful style using a massive melee weapon. Okay, I'm thinking either staff, and of course, I can hear everyone going, yeah, 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 go staff. And then half of you are also going, no, 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 go martial arts. No, 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 go dual wielding. Oh, it's tough, isn't it, folks? It's really tough. Let's see. What are we? We are Superman. We are a light power. We're a hero. Maybe it's actually a... Yeah, mate, let's go something different. Let's go the staff. Look at that. A fast, dexterous style, utilizing a long melee weapon. Um, yeah, I think that could be quite cool. There we go. We are staff-based. All right, so now she's saying that we've got our appearance options. Accept download when ready. So let's have a bit of a recap as I take a slurp on my cup of tea. We've got movement, flight, weapon, staff, power, the light, of course. Our mentor is Superman. Our personality is serious. Our morality is hero. And we're a monarch medium build. And, of course, we're female. Now, what do we want to do? We want to go in and have a look at our costume. Now, this is going to take ages. So perhaps it's uh, prudent that I maybe pause the video. Uh, but we'll have a quick look at the body stuff. Let's have a look at our skin. I think we're just going to go with the tattooed one I always go with. If I can find it somewhere down here. There we go, tattooed. That's the one I like. We'll go with that. Our hair. Come on, guys. You know what hair I'm going to take, don't you? Of course you do. It's the metal head. That wouldn't be a Sambo character if we didn't have that hair. Okay, so there we go. Body gear. Let's have a look at the gear. Uh, now, what do we want? We want maybe chest. Oh, yeah. Look, this is going to take forever. So what I might do is uh, go through some of these options and off camera and we'll pause the video and we'll come right back to save you the pain of me going through these one by one. So we'll be right back. 
And we're back folks and here we go we've got our new character here and you can see I've chosen basically a green color scheme trying to keep with the theme of the Green Lantern of course and I've gone with a very classic looking set of gear here very traditional sort of uh, you know kitsch 60s sort of superhero stuff looking a little bit sexy and of course we're sporting the black and green and all the traditional Sambo things here like the hair and the cape etc etc so there we go we have our new light character next oh no entering a name oh gosh what are we going to choose for her name oh I know I know how's this I wonder if we can get this one or if it's already been taken let's see complete yes and it's done there we go welcome and meet a new character for the light Jordan the center of the multiverse it will belong to Brainiac. Alright, I think we've seen this one before. I thought it might be a different one for the light. And it's all corrupted anyway. There we go. And look at us. Our, oh, we've got our power ring glowing. That is awesome looking. Look at that, folks. That looks absolutely fantastic. Woohoo! All right, I'm super happy about that. That is awesome. We definitely look like a light character, if you ask me. The hack worked. I'm in, and you're awake and free. Whew. Okay, I'm Oracle, and we are going to get you off this ship. Look for a doorway out. All right, so let's have a look in our inventory, perhaps, and see what we're wearing. We've got... What gear have we got? We've got our Synthium Staff, of course, but it doesn't look like we've got the Power Ring, so it must be just part of our... Well, it must be part of our powers or something, I guess. I'm not sure. Let's have a look in the appearance here. No, there's nothing there. We're going to lock all of those, by the way. All right, let's see what we've got now in the journal. We've got the Awakening, of course. And what about our powers? This is the one we really want to have a good look at. So let's go into the skills and the weapons here. We can see that we've got the staff one here. Allows access to the staff weapons. We've got a whole bunch of different ones here that we're going to go through, of course, as we level the character. Uh, but I know that's not what you're interested in the most, is it? No. What you're interested in are the powers. Here we go. We've got assault and support by the looks of things. Okay, so assault. And let's have a quick look at this. Light claws slashes and stuns opponents with giant claws. Very interesting. This looks like a combo. And we've got tap melee, hold melee, tap range, and hold range. Rams and mini guns? Are you kidding me? All right, that sounds fantastic. We've got a mini gun, we've got a spike quake, we've got a ram, we've got a light weight. Oh! Look at that, constructs a light construct weight and swings it around to knock down enemies and provides uh, protection against ranged attacks. That's kind of what the um, enemies were doing to us out in the world actually. Ballistic assault, strafing run. Wow, look at this, generates a light construct jet to bomb enemies surrounding your target, setting them on fire and causing them to flee in panic. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, this is fantastic folks, this is absolutely unbelievable. Whip Thrash, we've got a Chompers Panics and causes damage over time to the target. We've got a fan, creates a fan construct, and of course we've seen them as we battle NPCs out in the world, uh, to pull enemies towards you and knock them down. We've got a chainsaw and we've got a snap trap. This is absolutely incredible, folks. Absolutely loving it. Look at this, constructs a trio of rifles to blanket the area with gunfire and stuns opponents. Oh my god. All right, that was just assault. Let's have a look at support, will we? What do we got here? Boxing pummels and knocks down enemies with boxing gloves made of hard light may provide protect protection against ranged attacks We've got the hand clap. We've got impact crashes into enemies knocking them down We've got recharge restoring power to your allies and increasing your might and precision for a short time We've got restore which uh, restores some portion of your health. That's fantastic uh, Light barrier surrounds you in a protective shield that causes damage to anyone that strikes it We've got Entrap, encases enemies around a nearby target and places them in a light construct sphere. We've got Group Shielding, shields you and your group mates. 
Uh, what's this one? Grasping hand. Grabs and stuns the enemy with a giant hand. Oh my god. Seriously, these powers are amazing. Shielding, and we've got light blast here. Blast is a beam of light to smash and stun an opponent. And we've also got triage heals your wounds as you focus incoming attacks. Okay, we without doubt are going to go assault if you ask me. And you can see here the little introduction it says here, assault your enemies with hard light constructs. Specializing this tree grants plus 1% uh, critical attack chance and plus 35 power. And it says that deputized lanterns, and of course that's one of us, I can perform construct combos by uh, using chainable light constructs from their loadout followed by a series of taps or holds. These attacks can chain additional constructs if purchased and when used as a follow up in a construct combo, light powers do not have role specific buffs or debuffs but they cost no power to use. Very interesting. The controller role, you gain 350 uh, vitalization basically. And player versus player, while in a controller role you have special advantage versus nature and sorcery users. Okay, this is interesting. Uh, wow, I, I just can't believe this. This is absolutely incredible. Warning. And what do we got? Just some basic staff attacks here. They broke my hack. The ship knows you're free. Watch out. Get ready. My readings show forces gathering beyond that door. Look at this. Don't you just love how the ring leaves a trail of green All behind it? I just, oh, position. it's amazing. Fantastic. Really, this is going to be so much fun. I can't believe the hard light construct stuff. How amazing are they? Those powers that we read out there are just incredible. Oh boy, can't wait to go down that tree. Seriously, this is going to be so much fun. Although, of course, we have to stick to our original goal. Which was what? That's right, to finish off uh, Divinity. So we're going to have to wait a couple of episodes, but hey, let's give this a bit of a crack seeing as we're here. Oh, that's right, that's not a loot chest, that's just a random crate. Whoops. And we've got no closer there. We can't actually zoom in on our targets, unfortunately, because we don't have any skills. And that's me right clicking there, and you can see that's actually using the power ring. Alright, so right click is powering, and left click is our staff, and look at it, isn't that fantastic, the animations, love it. Alright, now this of course is the boss that teaches you about blocking. And of course we hold down shift. And we've got no combos either, of course. We've just got the very basic of attacks. That was an overseer. Let's get you out of their patrol range. Look for a transport tube above you. They crisscross the ship. Use that to keep moving. Oh, I'm very excited about this, folks. Very excited. And of course, we've been through this so many times before. You know what's going to happen as soon as we cross over here, don't you? Here we go. Ta-da! We are now level 22. Congratulations, Jordan. There we go. PowerPoint earned. Let's see if we can, what can we use it on? It's on, oh goody goody goody, it's on assault. And what's this? Light claws slashes and stuns opponents with giant claws. We're absolutely gonna choose this, <clears throat> no doubt about it. Uh, what do we got here? Tap melee is light claws, hold melee is light claws, tap range is ram, and hold range is minigun. Oh hell yes, that is us. All right, let's see what that does. Right, nothing. Press oh wait a minute. Press one to use your new power. Oh, did you see that, folks? Let's do that again. Whoa. Okay, let's hold it. No tap. And maybe is it different to tap and hold? Not sure. Let's try again. Oh, we got no power. Come on, power, come back. They look so cool. I'm so glad we went green as well. Really looking the part now. Okay, we're gonna have to wait for our power to come back. Whoops, I overdid All it there, units. didn't I? The subject has left the main corridors. Search the vessel. Oh, 
Now, speaking of which, let's have a look in our inventory, and it looks like we've got some gloves here, so we will absolutely put them on, and we've got ourselves a new chest, and of course we've also got ourselves some soda cola. Now, the reason that you're not seeing those styles appear is because I've locked down our appearance, by the way. Now, just quickly, I just want to make sure that our settings are all okay, um, because I'm just wondering if the audio is going to be a bit screwed up because we've chosen a new character and no all the settings are staying there so that's fantastic they must be global across all characters we like that the entire ship is connected to brainiac you have to keep moving all right so which way are we going it looks like we're going up this way i think get ready the ship is sending more security your way. That's okay. We are part of the core. Let's use one of our new abilities and wham, bam. Thank you, man. Oh, that, that is fantastic, isn't it? Look at the size of those claws. Just amazing. Love it. Love these hard light constructs. Oh, my God. All right, let's try it again. Okay, so it looks like if I hold it down, I do my clothes in. Let's try that again. Yeah, okay, so that's what it meant. And yet if I tap, I'm guessing, yeah, it's just a little short one. All right, so there we go. Makes a difference if you tap it or hold it by the looks of things. <laughs> oh, folks, come on. What do you think? That is fantastic, isn't it? Oh, this is going to be so much fun. It's great starting a new character at any time in DCUO, but hey, when Motion we've got the light powers, the oh yeah. Stop the human. Fantastic! Just by tapping one, we've already got ourselves an ability that just leaps us right forward into the fray, into the action. This is amazing, and of course we're also staff, which is There's new. a high security nexus up ahead. Get through and use the transport tube. Oh, I love those animations on the staff. Gosh, that's one thing they do so well in DCUO. You really do feel like a superhero, don't you? This is amazing. Right, let's check our inventory. We've got ourselves a pair of boots. That's good. Add to our stats. And which way are we headed? Looks like it's down the tunnel. Hack the controls to ambush Brainiac Overseers. No problem. Delivering shipment of Earth goods. All units move into position. Contain the human. Yeah, good luck with that. Good luck with that. All right, let's pick up one of these barrels because, of course, we know from coming through here in previous episodes they really do make a difference. And let's fire on in with our new claw ability there. And of course our staff. Oh, this is just too much fun. It's going to be so hard not wanting to carry this on. We do have to uh, finish off Definity. But oh boy, as soon as possible we will be back on this character. Because honestly, did you see some of those powers? Mini guns, for goodness sake. We've got jets. We've got an airstrike. Like, just... Wow, this is amazing. Oh, so much fun. So excited, as you can probably tell. Delivering shipment of Earth goods. All right, now, what do we have to do here? Are there more mobs? Yes, there are. Well, there were. <laughs> Get ready. The ship is sending more security your way. And here we go, using the ring there. How cool is that animation? And we are now level 3. Fantastic. Alright, let's have a look and see what we've got. We've now got a skill point. So, of course, we've got weapons here. Let's go into the staff. 
And we've got two choices already. One is called a focused spin, which is a block breaker. Unleashes a <coughs> spinning staff ranged attack to smash through and stun a blocking opponent's defenses with additional damage. Uh, and knockdown when supercharge is at a maximum. <clears throat> Alright, so that's a supercharge one, and we just hold down the right uh, mouse button there. Let's have a look at this one here sweeping slice which we hold down the left mouse button, interrupts and deflects enemy attacks with a surprise strike with additional damage. All right, I say we go with this spinning one, and that is holding down the right button. And there we go, we've assigned our point. Let's give it a go, a bit of a test before we come across mobs. All right, okay, I actually remember using this on Robin when we were playing in the arenas, the Legends PvP stuff. Oh. Uh-oh. These energy readings. Brainiac has a full invasion force stored on this ship. We have to destroy it. Now, of course, what I'm thinking is that ability, that weapon ability, which, of course, does not use up any of our um, energy. And by the way, I can hold it down and let it go whenever I like. But I'm thinking that's great for when there are mobs swarming us. So a really good close-range melee AoE attack. Oop, stunned. Use the breakout ability once. There we go. Oop, what's going on? <laughs> Alright, that, that's definitely good. That is definitely good. Alright, do we have any loot crates around here? <clears throat> Always pays to check, of course. Damage to this vessel continues to mount. Destroy the escapee immediately. I love the amount of damage the end of that spin move does. Look at it. Boom. Yep, that's definitely going to come in handy, folks. Without doubt. Good for... You know, so many times when we're up close and personal with these mobs, and there's just way too many of them. Kind of like a bit of an AoE knockback type effect, I guess. What are you doing here? We are kicking your rear. Now, you can see here we've got a broadcast come up. If your account is eligible for the Green Lantern DLC, which ours is, you will find the related items in the Marketplace Redeem Claim Window. Please note that the respec to tokens can be traded amongst your characters through the shared bank. Oh, okay, that's very interesting. Let's go into the menu then and go into the Marketplace here. Oh, this will close the PDA. Yep, yeah, that's okay, I think. There we go. And what do we want? We want Redeem Claim. Here we go. Oh, now look, there's quite a few new things in here by the looks of things. Wait a minute, let's have a look. We've got supplies, we've got casual style legends featured. We want to redeem claim. And here we go, Lantern Core Deputization Decree. Let's absolutely claim that and see what happens. Your item was successfully claimed. Visit your inventory to view it. All right, no problem. Let's get out of here. Open the PDA again. Go to I. <clears throat> there we go. All right, so we've got two of these things. What is it? It's account bound, cannot delete, cannot sell. You have been selected uh, to become a deputy in the core. Oh, this is exciting, folks. The effects of using this item. Power type changed to light. Oh, which of course is a controller. Cannot use tank or healer restricted equipment. Your current traits are reset. You earn controller feats going forward and you retain achieved role-based feats. These changes are permanent and cannot be undone. All right, so very clear as to what this is. These are a couple of tokens that we can send around to our other characters if we had max level characters. And of course, we'd spent a long, long time, a lot of time uh, and effort leveling our tune up and getting a whole bunch of gear. Instead of having to start again to make a light character, what you could do is actually use one of these deputization decrees and actually turn your existing character into a controller of the power type light. And of course, um, that's just a nice easy way of taking advantage of these new power sets in the game. So that's a really good idea on behalf of SOE. And of course, we don't need to do that on this character because we are already the light. And oh my god, doesn't it look fantastic? So there you go. If you're wondering... The ship's main gun is up ahead. 
destroy it, and the ship's external defense network will go down. Then the League can get in and get you out of there. <coughs> Excuse me. So, in other words, if you haven't played for a while, but you did reach max level, and you think to yourself, oh gosh, I'd really like to try out these new light powers, because they look very cool, and believe me, they do look cool, and they are cool just from the little amount that we've already seen. If you want to do that and you can't be bothered leveling a character up from scratch, then hey, you know now that you can absolutely do that. Just by using one of these deputization decrees. So that's fantastic, isn't it? What a great idea. There we go. Easy Do not pickings. Let the prisoner reach the prime weapon control room. Damage to the power couplings will destabilize the ship. Get ourselves a belt. A bit of defense on it. Do not be foolish, human. You cannot stop the conversion. You're in the Nexus. Destroy anything connecting the gun to the ship. No problem, Oracle. We shall do that exactly as you ask. Okay, you're approaching the gun chamber. I have Superman standing by to teleport in the minute it's out and the shields drop. I absolutely love that focused spin move. It's awesome, isn't it? Just so good. And our claw ability there, just taking them down in one hit as well. This is just fantastic, folks. So much fun. Oh my god, you've got if you play DCU, please, please, grab this content and play it. You won't regret it. Or come back if you've been uh, away for a while. Get a respect token there and become a member of the core. Yes, the gun is falling. It's smashing into Brainiac's bottle below. You will submit. Performance impaired. Get him down, he's nearly there. No, this one has failed. Power in. Superman, get ready. I'm bringing you in. Foolish human, you have doomed yourself. You will go down with this ship. Hello, Superman. Think again, Brainiac. You can't take out the both of us. We're not leaving until we shut this ship down. I'm just loving these abilities so early on. We've got that leap in to melee. We've got our right click. Of course, we've got our little AOE and new ability here, the focused spin, which does a huge amount of damage when we release it. Look at this, we're just cleaning these guys up before they even get a chance to get into the area proper. Fantastic, isn't it? Almost there, keep fighting. The network doesn't want to let me in. And of course, how great is it fighting alongside one of the most iconic superheroes known to man? to Earth. The ship has been compromised. All units must evacuate. Oh, seriously, folks, I could do this all day. And there we go. 
We're victorious! Nice work. Brainiac wasn't counting on you breaking free and disabling his ship. Now use the teleporter and get yourself back to the city. We've got work to do. Yes, it's done. Superman will finish here. Use the teleporters to escape. Go! Brainiac. A nightmare from my past, here to ravage Earth. Our shared might unable to stop him. But now we have a chance. New heroes, with powers saved from a doomed future. Heroes able to take on all threats. I know today's Lex Luthor. Even the warnings of his own future self cannot stop his mad vendetta. I am Superman. I stand for truth, for justice, and for the future. Thanks for that, Superman. Here we go, it's a big scary world out there. We've got ourselves a feat already. Let's beam ourselves down to Earth for the very first time to wrap up this episode as we begin life as a new character, Jordan, for the light. And there we go. We're now in Congrats. the real world. Now that you're off the ship, I'm Oracle. You've just teleported into the MPD's third precinct station, one of the many Justice League safe houses we keep in Gotham and Metropolis. How about I show you around? The safe houses are where you'll find contacts for missions, mailboxes, vendors, and the teleporter to the Justice League Watchtower. Thank you very much for that, Oracle. Here we go, folks. <laughs> That's it. We've gone way over time, I know. But how exciting was that? I honestly can't wait to explore all of these new powers. Just thought you might be interested in seeing what it's like, seeing as it's just been released. There you have it. Everyone's been asking, what is it like? Are you going to go on the light, Sambo? Well, there's your answer. Yes, indeed we are. We've got a new character, new powers, new outfit, and a whole new series of adventures to have. Of course, we will hop back to Definity and finish her off. But uh, good old Jordan will be waiting here in the wings for us. And uh, we're going to have lots of fun as we level up. Up and then watch all those hard light constructs, those crazy hard light constructs come into play. So really looking forward to that. And of course, I hope you'll join me in the future as we go down that path. But in the meantime, of course, it's time for us to go. Uh, until next time, it's me, Sambo, and of course, Jordan, our now level three. What is she? She is a staff-wielding, light-bearing superhero saying, take care, have a great day wherever you are. We'll see you next time, and bye-bye. <laughs>